y'all and welcome to the video and thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for joining me today to see my review on the brand new Marc Jacobs Cafe Collection. I picked up the foundation concealer and the Omega X3 powder blush bronze and highlighter palette. I'm so excited to get into this review so you guys can see my thoughts on these two products and all of that jazz. So if you are into these types of videos for me then definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe it would mean so much especially because I've noticed in my analytics that over half of my viewers are not even subscribed so if you're already viewing this video if you would do me the honor and hit the subscribe button it would melt my heart and let's go ahead and get into the video Okay, so right before we get started, I do want to mention that I have a giveaway going on right now. So I did eight eye looks with the brand new Tarte palette, the Tartlet Juicy Eyeshadow Palette, and there is a giveaway within this video, so I will have it linked below if that is something you are interested in entering. Also, if you are curious about what is on my eyes right now, I did just also review the brand new Urban Decay Wild West Palette. Fantastic palette. I will have it linked below when that review is up, but now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and and talk about these brand new products from Marc Jacobs. So we have the Cafe Collection box here, the Seamless Glow All-in-One Radiance Coconut Delight it says, and so it has three products inside um, in a compact, and then we have this here, which is their concealer foundation, which is interesting. It's the Extra Shot Caffeine Concealer and Foundation. We're gonna get you up close and personal and give you all of the tea on these new makeup products. I mean, look how beautiful this pack packaging is like this right away blew me away and it's really big too like it's very very large so even though this has a bronzer highlighter and blush in here you can still get your brush in there and not have to worry about you know mixing the shades and whatnot I didn't seem to have a problem with that and I also um, rather enjoyed it if I do say so myself but I won't give you the full tea until the end of the video. So I also have this here that I have on my face currently. Doesn't it look beautiful? Well, actually, I have both products on my face right now, obviously, but this was a really fun time. I do want to give you some information about this really, really quick. A standard foundation, like your everyday average foundation, is one fluid ounces, correct? Here we have the Charlotte Tilbury foundation right here compared to this Marc Jacobs. Definitely a difference. This is the standard one fluid ounce. This is not. So a one fluid ounce has 29 point blah 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 milliliters. We'll just round it up to 30 just to make it, you know, simpler. And this little guy here is 16 milliliters. So it's 0.54 fluid ounces, which is about half of your normal size foundation. So you're definitely getting about half less product in here, which is kind of a bummer. But I mean, if it's a good product, it might be worth the price considering it's a concealer and a foundation. The way I see this product, I kind of want to say this reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. This actually has one milliliter less than this. No way. This has one milliliter more than this does and this is a full-blown concealer. So, you know, there's definitely a difference here and honestly, if you guys were in the market for a really good concealer, I would probably go for this but I did actually have to cover up my dark circles a little bit more so I did go in with this concealer. Let's just say I had a good experience so let's go ahead and just get you on to the review and you guys can see you know how this works on the skin, how this works on the skin and I will give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. Okay so I first started out and primed my skin with the Gino & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Foundation and Concealer and go ahead and apply it to my face and use my favorite it cosmetics heavenly Lux flat top buffing foundation brush which is the number six and I am going to just run all of this into the skin this actually has such a beautiful finish to the skin I brought my light a little bit closer so you can see. It actually looks pretty good, but since this said it was a buildable full coverage foundation, we're gonna just put a little bit more and see if it cakes up because, you know, 
That sounds like fun. I'm really not applying much, but my skin actually looks like really good right now. <laughs> I just want to see what it looks like if I build it up just a little bit more. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it definitely looks a little bit more cakey when you build it up. So I feel like less is probably more because, I mean, it looked fine with the very first uh, application that I did. I even probably put too much, but I don't like it as much the second layer, so I probably wouldn't go for that. And I'm still going to need concealer because... I have very prominent dark circles, okay? I do. So I'm just going to go in with this Born This Way concealer and just do my normal conceal and just see what the foundation does with the concealer. Okay, so this is what it's looking like with the concealer under my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and just conceal it everywhere else that I like to conceal and we can apply powder. So now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. I like to actually use the Tarte Puff and press and press it into my skin. I feel like it really melted everything together. So now I think we're gonna go ahead and play around with this little bad boy. Let me give you a close up of it. So we have this nice thick Marc Jacobs little thing to save the mirror or whatever. Save the clock tower. Okay, so here is what this looks like. So let's go ahead and back you up and start applying this to my cheeks. Okay, so I messed up and went a little hot and heavy on my nose. Again, let me try and fix it with powder really quick. Well, you know, it's a good thing I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, now let's try this blush. This uh, Ofer brush I just got, the uh, Pro 22. It's like the perfect size to fit in this pan. quite beautiful if I do say so myself. Okay now for the highlighter. I hope it doesn't give me dark cast which is where you know you see that dark line looking forward. So fingers crossed. I feel like this for the light pan is really dark. Hmm. No dark cast. Okay. I didn't expect it to be so pretty. Oh my god. It really just melts into the skin. I have thoughts. Okay. I'm going to finish the rest of my face because I am in the process of doing this little review right here. So I'm going to finish my eyes and my brows and my lips and all that. And I'll be right back to give you all of my final thoughts on these two projects. Okay, so here are my final thoughts since you've seen both this and this in action. So let's start off with this little three-in-one palette here. Absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. I've actually had this on for about an hour and a half because I did finish filming my other video of my eye look and whatnot and stuff. So this has been on for a while. I still look really great. This was such a good little buy right here. Smells amazing and the fact that this doesn't give me dark cast and it looks so good I was so scared this was gonna be really dark and golden and it was not gonna work for my skin tone whatsoever But it does so that's like a plus and I cannot wait to get so much use out of this Like I've heard their bronzer was absolutely amazing now I have it with a blush and this highlighter and I have to say it's really good And definitely worth the price because you're getting three in one It's also perfect if you're traveling and on the go and you can just have all three products in this one palette 
palette. Now let's move on to this. Again, I've had this on for about an hour and a half. Still looks beautiful. They claim that this is crease resistant. Now I do have creasing under my eyes. I did put concealer under my eyes and I think that I'm just going to have creasing anyways. It's not even really creasing as it is just my under eye wrinkles, if you will. Like it's not creasing up and like, like separating. It's just, I have under eye wrinkles, okay? But it's kind of disappearing a little bit in the wrinkles, but not too much, not any more than anything else does. Now, is that a problem? For me, no, because I've never been able to not have that problem. So I am not like having a fit over that. My like, you know, shocked face, it's not doing anything with my wrinkles there. My smile line still looks good. My skin right now is combo. You guys know I did just review the Morphe foundation and that one looked really beautiful on the skin for 20 bucks but it did cling a little bit to my dry patches. I have dry patches here, here, and here. It's not clinging okay. So I have combination skin. Everything else is pretty oily besides those and it looks perfect like everywhere. So pretty happy about this. I wish that this wasn't so small and it was like a full fluid ounce but I feel like they mostly was marketing this for a concealer and a foundation as if you might use this mostly as a concealer just like this but I could also be wrong I don't really know I haven't done that much research but if you wanted to use this as a concealer great concealer and foundation great I still would want to use another concealer that's lighter to brighten up on my under eye and whatnot I don't know looked really really good I can't wait to play with it even more I'm going to apply it with like a really light layer and do like hardly anything and not build it up like I had done and see what it looks like there but it's pretty full coverage if I do say so myself. <laughs> Like, my cheeks usually have a lot more redness coming through. And it's not really standing out as prominent as it normally does. Like, it's really... Oh, excuse me. It's really masking the, like, red that my cheeks naturally do. And, I mean, I just look so good. And even with this highlighter, probably a new favorite highlighter. It's pretty freaking good. But, um, I don't know. Other than the size of this, I don't recommend it for the price. Because that's really expensive for, like, this little bit amount of product. But then again, it's Marc Jacobs. So it's definitely higher-end beauty than, like, say, you know, Too Faced. Which is, like, your average middle, you know what I mean? Or, like, CoverGirl, which is your drugstore. So, for the price price I guess it's fine I'm not really like you know familiar with like high high luxury type brands which I would consider Marc Jacobs like a luxury brand well high end high end we'll go with high end so I guess for a high end price it's probably good I'm not really sure again I'm not like you know I don't know <laughs> but it's still really really good like if it works really really well and wears really really well I will definitely let you guys know in the in the description but if it wears really well then it'll probably be worth the money um this I say check the gram see you know how if you're like okay with how many grams is in here 7.5 9.8 and 7.2 I still think it's worth your money three and one beautiful laid on the skin looking good so yeah I, I I recommend both products I really do like highly recommend I I really like what I'm seeing I look fantastic darling but um anyways I want to know your thoughts and opinions below I haven't seen any reviews on this yet so I'm not sure if like other people are liking it or if they're not liking it but um yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions below do you guys like what you see? Uh, <laughs> I do. I really like it. I look good. I look good, okay? Like, I thought I was impressed with that Mar that uh, Morphe foundation. Like, woo. <laughs> no, no, no. I like this. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I want to know all your thoughts and opinions below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.